A few months back, I made a video called The Worst Album Covers, where I got really mad at Weezer and made fun of really some of the worst album covers ever made. For that, I had some experience because I actually listened to music for fun. Now I'm going to roast movie posters, which is funny because I watch like two movies a year. <laughs> Morbius, of course, and then Morbius again. The only movies I've seen this year are the, uh, the Super Mario Brothers movie Who and was? Cocaine Bear, so I'm very intellectual and a trusted source on all things movie. I'm the Anthony Fantano of movies. I'm the modern Roger Ebert. Jeremy Johns falls to his knees and beckons to me. Like, watch this. Here's my review for the Mario movie. <clears throat> Um, I don't know, it was cool, I like Donkey yeah. Kong, 8 out of 10. Movie posters are very iconic. Some of those original Star Wars movie posters have had us soy jacking for decades. Star Wars practically invented the soy jack. I think they were pogging like a wojack in line in like 1977 to that shit. Ooh, Baby Yoda, whoa! Ooh, lightsaber, whoa, I'm going to buy 30 Funko Pop! I mean, I like this style of movie poster, a bunch of characters in a dynamic collage. I mean, even the newer Star Wars movies have had some cool posters, although I wish they were drawn like the classic ones. But sometimes, you have to look at the shaggy dog with Tim Allen. Uh -huh. Whoever thought this was a good idea needs a life sentence. But counterpoint, it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> These X-Men first class posters were always kind of strange, just a black silhouette with a floating head. Bro looking like that Courage the Cowardly Dog episode. It's just so weird, it's not even that visually striking, I'm just feeling uncomfortable. They're just staring at me. Get out of my head! A lot of movie posters are just really uninspired, like it'll just be a dude standing atop a color in the background, like literally Weezer style. Like this poster for Green Book. It's just so boring, you could tell me this was a frame from a cheesy car ad and I'd believe you. Wait, Weezer's back there, you rascals! Here's Nicolas Cage standing in a field in the poster for Left Behind. I could have photoshopped fire in the background better, and that's saying something. <laughs> This poster was clearly made by an intern who just threw every PNB of smoke on Google he could find. Looks like a funny YouTube edit where the plane crashes onto the screen and then a helicopter. A movie poster is very important for cementing a movie in people's minds. It's the art you see walking into the theater. It's culturally important even if the poster doesn't really give you any indication of how the movie is. Although, I think you know exactly what the fuck you were getting into when you saw the poster for Shaggy Dog. <laughs> Holy shit, why did they give him human eyes? Raise the woof? No thank you. Keep the woof caged away, locked behind several layers of cement. Some movie posters just puzzle you, like this poster for The Fall. This is like if you asked AI to generate a Salvador Dali painting. Whoever made this poster must have had first access to Dali Mini. Magnificent, says Roger Ebert. It's not good, Ebert. It's it's no hit by lightning. What the hell is this? This is probably the worst one we've seen. I think every single asset in this poster was added in post. These people were not laying together. It looks like these were just photos of the cast they had randomly taken around set and then threw together at the last second. This blanket is photoshopped under his arm. I don't even know if he was holding the gun. Why does this guy on the right look like he's shitting himself? Finding love can be murder. Staring at this image is murder. Do we have to talk about the, the Morbius poster? I mean, we don't have to, right? <laughs> like, we could just move on. Like, we've moved past this as a society. You ever seen the poster for Ready Player One? This dude got fucking leg extensions. <laughs> that leg is not real. It should be stated that I'm not really a Marvel guy or like a superhero person. The posters are all right. Big ensemble cast displayed on the poster is cool, even if it's not really my thing. But my thing is Pokemon and anime, so I'm not really any better. There are some really ugly ugly superhero movie posters though, like this bleak poster for Thor The Dark World. Wait a second. Is that Morbius in the top left? Never mind, 10 out of 10. I think comedy movies usually have the most unhinged posters. They're shitty films that you go see while you're high, so they don't need to have good designs. Like this poster for Zookeeper. Never mind, I take it back. This actually goes hard as fun. <laughs> the fucking gorilla. Kevin James looks so unenthused. He doesn't even look happy to be there. Honestly, neither does the gorilla. Maybe these guys are high too. Gulliver's Travels. What is this, a poster for ants? Based on Jack Black's face in this poster, I wouldn't be surprised if there were a couple guys in his shorts right now. This poster for Takers is pretty bad. The heads are just not the right sizes at all. This honestly looks like a Sigma edit on TikTok. <laughs> Can we get a Sigma edit of these guys? The Penthouse. 
Yep, that, <laughs> that's something. I actually can't. This is worse the more you look at it. Honestly, it's beautiful how bad it is. It's actually art. You could just add PNGs of other objects to this poster and it would fit in. Here, just like throw in like a can of soda and like a slab of meat or like an anvil. A lot of movie posters end up looking like a modern Mr. Beast thumbnail, honestly, like super airbrushed faces to the point where you can't even recognize the actor or actress. Have you seen those Mr. Beast thumbnails recently? They're terrifying. <laughs> he looks like a Barbie doll. Carrot top chairman of the board holy serves up this is actually the best poster of all time is it the same guy on the left and the right bro this is ytk as hell i actually love it you can just replace the background with like a 2d cyberspace grid and now it's a graphic for an ad for aol in 1998 or something little italy this must be the porno <laughs> why is text in gray at the bottom it's like anyone associated with this movie didn't want anyone to know they were involved heavy petting that's a heavy no <laughs> why does the dog just look like a dude that's just a Dude, why are there so many posters of dogs looking like people? That's literally just a guy. Good luck, Chuck. No. No, this is just, this is too far. I can't do this anymore. What in the hell is that? Now you've heard of good luck, Chuck, but how about off screen to the right of the room in a chair? Good luck, Cuck. Now that's a movie I would see. I mean, hell, sometimes fan posters look better than actual posters like this art for Joker. I mean, sometimes it's Norman Reedus photoshopped to look like Danny Phantom, or it's Dwayne Johnson as Squidward, which are both movies I would rather see than Avengers Age of Infinity and War 7. Michael Sarah is Joker. Ratatouille 2, Cruise Control. If you're gonna make a bad movie poster, at least make it shit post funny like these. Have you seen that new Five Nights at Freddy's poster? Okay, pretty epic, but I think we could do better. First, we take a PNG of Freddy Fazbear, we put him in a bed, now there's a blanket over him, movie title in aerial font, red text, Five Nights at Freddy's. Okay, now make his head too big like they do in all the other posters. Okay, now we add a hot girl laying in bed with him, aerial font, can you survive? Now a giant wall of credits at the bottom, beer can on the the bed and bam million dollar poster we're going to hollywood baby anyway i'm done looking at movie posters now the only good movie is wally -E. go watch wally -E. here's an ad read by the way role plays if you're one of the people riding the little cars at the end of wally -E as you watch the ad and then buy it this video is brought to you by the great people over at factor factor is a great meal service that makes meeting your nutrition goals easier than ever by delivering fresh never frozen dietitian approved meals right to your doorstep if you're too busy to cook this month factor Factor has you covered. You can skip those trips to the grocery store, skip the chopping, prepping, and cleaning up too. I mean, we're gamers. We want something ready to eat. And with Factor meals, you just heat them up and the meal is ready in two minutes. Personally, I love Factor because there are all sorts of options for a variety of different lifestyles, from keto to calorie smart to protein plus. And since I'm vegan, I can get the vegan and veggie option. And of course, each of these are still just as delicious and approved by dietitians. Factor is great for me because it cuts down on grocery store trips so I can spend more time doing the things I love, like rolling on the floor and pretending I'm a worm. No, but really, the flexibility of being able to skip cooking if I'm really busy working on something and have a fresh factor meal instead is really nice. So what are you waiting for? Head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code asterisk 50 to get 50% off your first factor box. It's a really good deal and it helps the channel out.